Hi, in this video we will see uh, the definition of uh, moment of inertia. So to understand the meaning of uh, this moment of inertia, I have taken a rectangular block. Okay, so in this block, uh, let me take this as x axis and this as y axis and this as z axis okay now let me consider rotation of this uh, block about x axis and about y axis and about z axis if i take rotation of the block about the x axis okay if the block rotates like this If the block rotates like this, this is called as rotation about x axis, about the x axis, rotation, rotation about x axis. Similarly, if I take rotation about y axis, okay, if I take rotation about y axis, so this is the rotation about y axis okay the body will rotate like this horizontally okay if the body is rotating horizontally that is taken as rotation about y axis similarly if you visualize the rotation about the z axis okay rotation about the z axis so this is the rotation about z axis so here we have the z axis about the z axis the block will rotate okay therefore the moment of inertia means it is the resistance offered to change in rotation of a body about an axis okay i repeat it is the resistance offered to change in rotation of a body about an axis Okay, it may be rotation about the x-axis, okay, x-axis like this or it may be rotation about y-axis or it may be rotation about the z-axis, okay. The resistance offered to change in rotation of a body about an axis is called as moment of inertia, okay. Therefore, the resistance Offer to change in rotation of a body about an axis is called as moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. Okay, now let us see uh, how to measure this moment of inertia. Okay, let us see how to measure the moment of inertia. To measure the moment of inertia, what I will do is I will consider a plain area, okay, having total area A. In that, I will consider an elemental strip. I will consider an elemental strip of area D. Let me assume area of elemental strip as da let me draw the reference axis i'll take this as reference y axis and this as reference x axis okay now let me assume let me assume the x as perpendicular distance of the elemental area from reference y axis then y as perpendicular distance of the elemental area from reference x axis now let us see how to measure this moment of inertia of this area about x axis or the y axis so in the previous uh, videos we have seen moment of a force which is product of force and the perpendicular distance right so we have also seen moment of an area which is product of area and the perpendicular distance okay so while deriving the equation for centroid of the triangle or rectangle or semicircle semicircle we used to measure moment of an area 
there we used to take as product of area into perpendicular stress. Now, if I again multiply the distance for this moment of area, then we will get moment of inertia. Okay, very simple. Okay, if we again multiply the distance for the moment of an area, then it is then we will get moment of inertia. Okay, so moment of inertia is the product of area and the perpendicular distance square. It is the product of area and the perpendicular distance square. Okay, and this moment of inertia is also called as moment of moment of moment of an area. Okay, it is also called as moment of moment of an area, and it is also called as second moment of inner inertia uh, second moment of of an area. Second moment of an area because we are multiplying the distance twice. That is why it is called as it is also called as second moment of an area, and it is also called as moment of moment of an area. Okay. Now we will find moment of inertia. Okay, and this moment of inertia is denoted by the letter I. Okay. It is denoted by letter I. We will find moment of inertia about x axis. We will find the moment of inertia about the x axis I x x is equal to. First, we will find moment of inertia of this elemental area about x axis. So, as I said before, it is product of area into distance square. Therefore, moment of inertia of this elemental strip or elemental area about x axis is. Area of elemental strip into a perpendicular distance square. Perpendicular distance of elemental area from reference x axis. It is y dA into y square. Okay, so dA into y square. This is moment of inertia of elemental area about x axis. To get the moment of inertia of the whole area, you have to do the sum of moment of inertia of such areas, or you have to do the integration. You will get the moment of inertia of whole area about the x axis. Similarly, if I formulate moment of inertia about y axis, it is sigma dA into x square. Okay, this is the formula for moment of inertia about y axis. Okay, this is how we measure the moment of inertia, which is the product of area and the distance square. Then coming to the unit of moment of inertia. Okay. So we know that moment of inertia is area into distance square. Unit of area is what? Millimeter square into distance square is there. Okay, for distance we have the unit as millimeter. Square is there. I will take the square as it is. The final unit will be millimeter raised to 4. Therefore, moment of inertia is represented by the unit millimeter raised to 4 or centimeter raised to 4 if the dimensions are given in terms of centimeter or it may be meter raised to 4 if the dimensions given are in meter. Okay, this is the unit of moment of inertia. Okay. So, to this, uh, the introduction on this moment of inertia is over. Okay, thank you.